Hey, how's it going? I'm Jordan Hansen, founder of Ace Golf Marketing. And today I got a pretty cool little video for you. We're gonna dive deeper into the report I put together for you, the seven steps to build a thriving golf course in 90 days. I hope you've had the time to read through the report. If not, uh, this video is gonna take us through step one and we're really gonna elaborate. I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff. So be sure to stick around and watch this whole video. Right now, more golf courses will continue to close than open over the next few years. I got this statement directly from PGA.com, um, who I believe they had pulled from the National Golf Foundation or got their data from, but pretty interesting statement, basically saying golf courses are gonna continue to close, um, and yeah, that's the way it is. I'm sure that's not news to you if you're in the golf business. You've heard this a lot. Golf course openings in the United States remain at historic, historically low levels. Measured in 18-hole equivalents, the NGF said that only 13.5 courses opened in 2012, while 154.5 courses closed. I'm sure those are estimates since they're a half a course, but a total of 68% of those closures came among lower-priced public facilities, which continues a trend that has run throughout the economic downturn. Now, this is directly from the National Golf Foundation's website and data that they have to back it up. Um, it's no, no doubt about it. There's obviously many more courses closing than opening, and it's been pretty rough in the golf business for the last, uh, shoot, five or ten years anyway. Definitely five, if not ten. But uh, it's been, been a rough turn. But on the flip side, you know, I'm not telling you this to scare you or, or anything like that. It's just the reality of the golf business right now. But I have some good news for you. And that is, there's one major indication that things are improving. Golfers played nearly 500 million rounds in 2012, up 5.7% from 2011. And this is straight from Bloomberg's website. I think they pulled this data along with the National Golf Foundation as well. While I was doing my research, you can find all of these statistics as well. But what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that golfers are playing more golf, but yet more courses continue to close. So what does that mean for you and I? Well, that means there's an opportunity that exists to be able to pull more of those rounds at your golf course. And as, as fewer, more courses are closing, less courses are opening, there is a huge opportunity to start to pull more and more of those rounds, getting more players to your golf course. So let's dive into this pretty a little bit deeper here anyway. There's three pillars of making more money in the golf business, and for that matter, any business. There's three ways to do it. We can get more golfers, which probably 90% of your efforts are focused there, um, and that's pretty common. That Everybody wants to get more golfers, okay? Or the second thing is we can sell more stuff to existing golfers, so we can upsell them, okay? We're getting... 100 players a day and that are you know spending x amount of dollars how do we take that average spend from $30 to 32 or $35 making us an extra 500 200 or 500 dollars a day relatively so how can we sell more stuff to existing golfers and the third thing is increase frequency of purchase so what does that mean that means getting them the same golfers to come back to your course more and more and more. So increasing the frequency, instead of playing once a week at your course or once a month, they play twice a week or three times or four times a week or per month. So we're gonna increase the amount of times they're gonna come back to your golf course. So those are the three ways of making more money in the golf business. So you might be wondering, okay, how are we going to do this? So I know the three ways to make more money in the golf business. How the heck are we going to exploit those? Well, this right here covers uh, basically the pillars one and two, one and three. So how to get more golfers and how to increase the frequency of purchase. And really, really um, is more emphasized toward the third one, increasing the frequency of purchase. So we're going to create a membership offer. 
Okay. If you don't have a membership at your golf course, you're making a big mistake because any membership can be profitable. You know, I've heard excuses and some people say, oh, well, it may cannibalize my regular player, my sales. You know, if you're doing 50 or 60,000 rounds a year at your course, uh, there's a small possibility, but it's not, it's not a statistic that you can't figure out. It's pretty simple. Figure out how much your average players are playing. And then what you what you can sell your membership for. Maybe you have to sell your membership for more money and for it not to cannibalize your open play. Yeah. So there is an analysis you can do on this, and we'll get into that later, but where you're able to figure out the optimal price so you're not eating up your, you know, your green fees. And then a lot of memberships, and what I strongly encourage is that you still collect card fees. So yeah, if you're a high-end private country club. And, you know, none of your members are going to want to pay a cart fee. I'm sure they're going to come in. I'm done. Maybe, you know, you're selling memberships for two, four, five, ten, or twenty or fifty thousand dollars each. There's an optimal price point for you. So we need to create a membership offer or a monthly program or continuity program is the more sophisticated lingo. But a monthly program, so maybe this could be a monthly green fees program. People can sign up, pay X amount of dollars a month. You put this into your system, you automatically charge their card every single month for that program. And maybe it covers all the green fees, maybe it's a total package. But it should be a monthly package or program that's going to, A, bring in more golfers, and B, increase the frequency of purchase, okay? Okay. So those are the two pill, two of the three pillars we talked about. Another way you can do it is you can bundle golf packages. So you can bundle golf packages. You can sell packages of green fees or packages of rounds and different packages, you know, and promote them to your list of golfers or outside, you know, golfers that aren't on your list, however you decide to do this. And we can talk about this sort of thing. But you can bundle golf packages together and sell them in bulk to pre-sell your inventory. Which I'm sure, you know, if you're like one of the average courses, you have plenty of extra inventory. So another way you can do it is just is figure out other products and programs, you know, just through brainstorming sessions with your players. What do they really want? Uh, that would be a great starting point is by doing some research, figuring out what types of products and programs they may be interested in, and then selling them those those products and programs. So not brain surgery here, pretty straightforward, but those are some real basic ways to, to be able to capitalize on bringing in more golfers and increasing the frequency of the, their purchases at your course. You know, we, we all know they have so many courses to choose from that are all slashing prices and, uh, you know, doing the, the discount thing. Any type of program or membership offer we can put together to lock them into Going to your course and not going anywhere else is it's essential. It's a must do and will be invaluable to your golf course. Okay, so we're going to talk about the step one of the um, uh, of the report I put together for you, and it's slipping my mind here. It's been a second since so I checked out the seven steps to building a thriving golf course in ninety days. Okay, so step one of of that is to create an irresistible membership offer, or this could be an irresistible offer of any kind, whether it be a month-to-month program or a bundled package, any of the, the, the other programs that we just covered. But to create an irresistible offer is critical to actually selling that offer, because otherwise it's not going to get bought. So I'm going to go through some ways that we're going to do this. And first of all, you can use an attractive price. Yeah, this is you know pretty straightforward. We've got to have some type of incentive for them to buy your offer, or your membership offer, your product or program. We're going to use member stories and toast testimonials. So social proof. Why is this such a good package? Why is this such a good membership? And why have other people bought it? So anytime you can add that element of social proof, it really adds as and is leverage in your your offer. Offer payment options. So this is a great way to go about selling bigger ticket memberships. You may want to break that down into quarterly payments, into monthly payments, um, some type of installment plan, whatever you have to do to make it affordable to more people is gonna open up and help you bring in more players. 
You can waive additional sign-up costs or fees. So you may have a membership sign-up fee or uh, you know an additional cost or a monthly cost that's added in. And you know um, one little trick that you can use is if you don't have those type of costs or fees is to actually add them to your membership and then turn around and waive them. So you create a, a sign-up fee and turn around and waive it. So then you're able to discount it and incentivize people for taking advantage now. Um, you can offer a guarantee. So a guarantee is a really cool way to bring in uh, more players. And I'll, I'll show you a guarantee I put together for a client here real soon. And then you can use scarcity in your offer as well. So you notice when I said waive additional sign-up costs or fees right when you sign up right now, the right now part is the scarcity in your offer. If you just have a membership flat, a flat rate membership fee and that's what you charge all year long and that just is what it is, people don't have a reason to sign up. They don't have a reason to sign up right now. So they'll put it off. And what's going to happen? They put it off. More of the season goes along, goes along, goes along. Next thing you know, it's halfway over and, you know, I'm not going to buy a membership now. Why, why would I? I'll just pay to play or play a different course, not sign up at the country club, whatever their reason may be that they make for themselves. But you have to have a reason and use scarcity in your offer to, to and incentivize them for signing up right now. You're about to see a prime example of that right now. So I'm going to take you over to um, a sales page that I've done here for a client. This is our membership offer and walk you through it. So this is a sales page that I put together for a client here and doing a membership uh, drive basically that's going to expire here at the first of the year. So signing up for the next year before that year even starts. And this is just one of the, the tactics and strategies we're going to use. Um, I have some other really cool tricks kind of built into this and marketing strategies, not tricks, but strategies that are super powerful. We're going to use to really pull as many members as we can out of this campaign. So you'll see I got a powerful headline here. I've actually done the sales video myself. So I've stepped in as the membership director, although I'm not on site. I'm the membership director, so I put together all of the, the sales videos, the entire campaign, um, any of the promotional videos we've used to collect leads and lead generation. We're going to get into that in future uh, videos as well, but not for this one. So I want to walk you through this offer. Look at this element of scarcity. Okay, so I've got a nice headline, nice sales video. Look at how we're using scarcity here. So I've got a countdown timer on that page. This is a great way to emphasize that this is a limited time offer and they need to take advantage now. And this can boost your conversion. So boost your people viewing the page versus people buying. Buy is up, up to like 40%. I've heard as high as 80. 30 and 40 is what I've seen in a lot of my testing. So by just adding this element of scarcity in here, I've got a timer. Um, you can really boost up uh, your conversions big time, especially as you get in that last couple of days to take advantage. So here I've got just a button to buy. Uh, here we're, we're obviously able to just buy this right online so they can click here and take advantage of the offer right there. So this is my shopping cart page, which I put together for the client as well. And then I'm gonna take you back over here. So you got a shopping cart page and then we've got um, just going through this. What are we diving right into here? Well, we're diving right into the social proof. So here's the testimonials. Don't take my word for it. Look what other members are saying. So here we've got uh, four different testimonials from different members. And then here we get into the sales letter. So I've got uh, a full sales letter I've written for the client. And we really dive into this thing. So um, I go through different bullets. Then I talk about the actual membership itself, benefits of the membership in a bullet-like format, highlighting different points of the membership. Here I've got a whole nother area, a whole nother group of testimonials that we're using and leveraging for the client just to really put even more social proof behind it. Um, and then we've got more more headlines and then we get into pricing so here this is an unlimited green fees offer a monday through friday offer for 197 dollars and then we've got the unlimited golf anytime so the seven days a week is 297 dollars and then this gets them all of their green fees 
and after and before January 1st. So after January 1st, the price goes up $200. Basically doubles here and almost doubles here to really you know, add that element of scarcity that I talked about and getting them to buy the membership before the first of the year. Then we uh, hop into bonuses. So this is a really cool way to, you know, really encourage people to, to buy your, your membership or your product or program is to b throw bonuses in there. So you need to think about ways that you can add bonuses. And ideally, they would want the bonuses more than the membership. So if you can come up with some really creative ways to bonus, add bonuses that, um, you know, here I've done a bonus that they can't get anywhere else. So they're, that are not available anywhere. So we, I've used bonuses that they can only get if they buy the membership, which is a very powerful weapon in marketing and sales is to add bonuses that you can't get anywhere else. So add bonuses that they really want and maybe want more than the actual membership and you will see your conversions, your membership sales go up significantly. I know you're skeptical about this, so here's my guarantee. That's why I'm offering the following 100% risk-free hole-in-one guarantee. So if you buy your HGM Golf membership, you're not completely satisfied with the impeccable value you've gotten after your first round of golf, we will issue a prompt and courteous refund for your membership. No questions asked, no hassles. So pretty cool here. Um, what I've done is I've offered them a guarantee. So if they buy the membership, they come in and they play their first round and they say, hey, you know, Tommy, this just, it was a bad round out there. Maybe they did have a bad round, but it, you know, this just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I'd like to have my money back. Okay. A, the chances of them doing that are slim to none. It's never happened yet so far. Um, and then B, you know, they don't want to cancel and odds are even if they had a bad round, they're going to realize it was a bad round of golf. But, you know, if they have that bad of an experience at your course and they're already coming in and bitching and moaning and groaning to you after round one, these aren't really the customers you want anyway. So what the hell? Give them their money back for the membership. In this case, you still collected a cart fee. Plus, we got, got them to try it out. It's the same as like a free trial for a day, ultimately, but it's a guarantee, which is more powerful. So it, it takes the risk out or risk reversal, as we say in marketing, and it takes the risk out of buying the membership. So what do we want them to do? We want them to click this big green button right here and check out and buy the membership. You know, so that's why, um, again, just the call to action is right under the risk reversal, the guarantee. Another powerful headline here, I've signed off personally as the membership director. And then I've got my PS is in here. So one more thing. What do you know? Another arrow pointing to big green button to buy the membership now. And then here, I, here we go one more time. We've got the element of scarcity. So we're using it one more time to say, hey, this is a rare opportunity. We'll be gone soon. Jump on board right now. So that's how you run through. That's how you create an irresistible membership offer. And uh, I think that you'll see how I've done this and be able to use a lot of this in your marketing. You know, it's a very, very powerful tool by, by creating your, you know, a powerful offer. So an irresistible membership offer, you're going to see, you know, a huge increase in your conversions and members actually signing up. So to go through them one more time, you want to use an attractive price point. You want to use member stories and testimonials. You want to offer payment options if it is a bigger ticket membership or product or service. You want to waive additional sign-up costs or fees. Another way you can do is build them in and waive them for signing up. You can offer a guarantee and you can use scarcity in your offer. And you'll notice that I did most of these in the, the sales letter you just seen. So um, pretty powerful stuff that's working great. Uh, just honestly, in the first uh, 10 days we've released this, we've sold um, 70 memberships and uh, we've collected uh, a promotion we're doing. I'll show you a little bit more in a future video, but uh, promotion that we're doing, we've collected like 630 people, golfers, uh, contact information. So names, emails, addresses, and phone numbers that want this membership. So that is marketing gold for the rest of our campaign and in future campaigns. So that's it, what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you would like me to personally double 
triple, or quadruple your membership roster for free, click the link below and let's get started. Time is of the essence here. Let's make 2014 your best year ever in the golf business. You have nothing to lose. So go ahead, click the link below, check it out. Let's schedule some time. I'd love to talk to you. Go over your campaign. So this is your chance to act now. Click the link. Let's get started. Talk soon. Hope you enjoyed this video.